Hi, I'm Camilla. Before I continue, please like and subscribe. Let me take you back to a few years ago, to the day that changed everything for me. I walked into my house that day, feeling a bit exhausted, but looking forward to a quiet evening. That's when I noticed something was off. The shelf where I kept my teenage memories, photos, little gifts from my parents, letters from friends. It was empty. My heart sank. John, I called out, my voice shaking a bit. John, where are my things from the living room shelf? John walked in, nonchalant. Oh, those old things. I threw them out. We needed the space. And honestly, Camilla, you cling too much to the past. I felt like I'd been punched in the gut. Threw them out? John, those were my memories. Gifts from my mom and dad. They're not with us anymore, and you just threw them out? He shrugged, annoyance creeping into his voice. Come on, Camilla, you're overreacting. It's just stuff. We need to move on from the past. Move on? John, you had no right. How could you be so heartless? The argument escalated quickly. Voices raised, harsh words thrown around. And then it happened. In a moment of anger, John lashed out physically. It was the first time, and it was a shock that broke something inside me. That night, I lay awake, my mind racing. The next morning, I made a decision. A decision for me, for my kids. I couldn't let them grow up thinking this was normal, that this was love. I packed our essentials quickly, quietly. My kids, Lucy and Max, were confused, but I assured them we were going on a little trip. Mom, where are we going? Lucy asked, her eyes wide and uncertain. Just to a safe place, sweetheart, I replied, trying to keep my voice steady. We left the house with just a few bags, left behind a life that I once thought was my forever, left behind the man I thought I knew. As we drove away, I looked back at the house, a mix of fear, relief, and determination in my heart. I didn't know exactly where we were going, but I knew one thing for sure. I was never coming back. In the early days of my new life, the challenges of being a single mother while trying to start a business were overwhelming. It felt like climbing a mountain with no end in sight. Mom, why do we have to eat mac and cheese again? Lucy complained one evening, her little face scrunched up. I smiled, hiding my exhaustion. It's our adventure food, sweetie. Remember, we're on an adventure. Max, always the quiet one, just nodded, poking at his food. The days were long. I worked odd jobs while trying to get my business idea off the ground. Nights were spent researching, planning, and often just staring at the ceiling, wondering if I had made a monumental mistake. One day, I was sitting in a small, crowded coffee shop, my laptop open to a business plan that seemed more like a fantasy. Why so serious? A friendly voice interrupted my thoughts. It was Sarah, a fellow single mom I'd met at Lucy and Max's school. Just trying to figure out how to turn this, I tapped the laptop, into reality. Sarah glanced at the screen. You're starting your own business? That's brave. It feels more like crazy most days, I admitted. Well, if you ever need help, let me know. Us single moms should stick together. Her words stuck with me. The feeling of not being alone in this journey was a small comfort, but a comfort nonetheless. Weeks turned into months. Progress was slow, and there were days when I wanted to give up. But then, I'd look at Lucy and Max, their faces full of trust and hope, and I knew I couldn't quit. One particularly hard day, when everything seemed to be going wrong, Max came to me with a drawing. Look, Mom, I drew our family. You're in the middle because you're the strongest. I hugged him, holding back tears. You're my strength, Max. Finally, after countless setbacks, I managed to secure a small loan. It wasn't much, but it was enough to start. I found a tiny office space, secondhand furniture, and put up a sign, Camilla's Consulting. The day I opened the doors to my own business, I felt a mix of pride and terror. But as I watched the first few clients walk in, I knew that every struggle, every sleepless night, had been worth it. I wasn't just building a business. I was building a new life for me and my kids. A life where we didn't have to rely on anyone else, where we could stand on our own. This was just the beginning, but it was our beginning. Several years had passed and Camilla's Consulting was no longer just a tiny office with secondhand furniture. It had grown, just like Lucy and Max. I had built a life of success, not just for me, but for my children. We had come so far from those mac and cheese dinners and sleepless nights. But, as they say, 
with success comes unexpected visitors from the past. One day, while I was in my office, my assistant Jenny knocked softly. There's someone here to see you, Camilla. He says it's urgent. I looked up, a bit surprised. Did he give a name? She hesitated, then said, It's John. My heart skipped a beat. John. After all these years. Why now? I took a deep breath. Send him in. John walked in, looking older, a bit worn. There was an awkward silence before he spoke. Camilla, I... I've been thinking about you a lot. About us. I raised an eyebrow. Us? There is no us, John. That ship sailed a long time ago. He sighed, running a hand through his hair. I know I messed up. I was a fool. And I've regretted it every day. Can we... Can we start over? I looked at him, memories of the past flashing in my mind. Start over? After everything? John, you threw away not just my memories, but our life together. And now you come here, after all this time, and expect what? Forgiveness? He looked down, guilt written all over his face. I don't expect forgiveness, Camilla. I just... I miss you. I miss the kids. The kids and I have moved on, John. We've built a life without you. A good life. Camilla, please. I've changed. I just want a chance to be part of your lives again. I stood up, my decision clear. No, John. There are consequences for your actions. You chose your path, and I chose mine. We are not a part of your life anymore. You lost that right the day you chose to hurt us. He looked like he wanted to say more, but I stopped him. This is my office, my company, my world that I built without you. Please leave. After John left, I sat back down, a mix of emotions swirling inside me. But one thing was clear. I had moved on. I had risen from the ashes of my past and built something beautiful. As the day ended, Lucy and Max came by the office. Lucy ran into my arms. Mom, you're like a superhero, I laughed, hugging them both. Max. Lucy, we've got each other, and that's all we need. The evening of the gala was a culmination of years of hard work and resilience. Camilla's consulting had not only succeeded, but had made a significant impact in the community. As I stood in the grand ballroom, beautifully decorated and filled with esteemed guests, I couldn't help but feel a sense of surreal achievement. Mom, you look like a movie star, Lucy exclaimed, her eyes shining with pride. Max nodded in agreement, a smile playing on his lips. Yeah. You're going to knock everyone's socks off. I smiled at my children, feeling a warmth spread through me. They were my biggest, cheerleaders. The event organizer, Mr. Thompson, approached me. Are you ready, Camilla? It's almost time for your award. I took a deep breath. As ready as I'll ever be, Mr. Thompson. As I made my way to the stage, the lights dimmed, and a hush fell over the crowd. Mr. Thompson began the introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, Tonight we honor a woman who's not just a successful entrepreneur, but a true pillar of strength and inspiration in our community. The applause was deafening as I stepped onto the stage. I looked out at the sea of faces, some familiar, some not, but all here to celebrate this moment with me. I began my speech, my voice steady but filled with emotion. When I started Camilla's Consulting, it was more than just a business venture. It was a leap of faith a journey towards independence and creating a better life for my children and me. I paused, my thoughts drifting back to those challenging early days. There were times when I thought I couldn't do it, times when the world seemed against me. But I kept going, driven by the love for my children and the belief that we all have the power to change our circumstances. The crowd listened, captivated. This award is not just for me. It's for every single mother out there fighting for a better life. For every person who's been knocked down and got back up, it's a testament to resilience, hard work, and never losing hope. As I concluded, the applause erupted once again. I stepped down, my heart full, and rejoined Lucy and Max. You were amazing, Mom. Lucy hugged me tight. You're our hero, Max added, his eyes gleaming with admiration. The rest of the evening was a blur of congratulations, handshakes, and smiling faces. But amidst the celebration, there was a poignant absence. John. His regret at losing us was a silent presence, a contrast to the love and support that surrounded me. As the night drew to a close, Sarah, who had become a close friend and confidant, came over with a glass of champagne. 
To new beginnings and happy endings, she toasted. To being strong and independent, I replied, clinking my glass with hers. I looked around at the people who had become my support system, friends, colleagues, and most importantly, my children. They were my world, and together, we had built something beautiful out of the ashes of our past. As we left the gala, walking into the starry night, I felt a sense of closure. I had not just survived, I had thrived. I had turned pain into power, despair into hope. This was my triumph, a testament to the strength of the human spirit. The story of Camilla has come to an end, a journey of resilience, empowerment, and triumph. But it leaves us with a thought-provoking question. If you were in Camilla's shoes, would you have made the same choices she did, especially her decision not to forgive John? Would you have given him a chance to be part of your life again, or stood firm in your independence like Camilla did? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Let's have a meaningful discussion about forgiveness, resilience, and moving on. And if you've enjoyed this story and want more like it, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more engaging content. Your support helps us bring more stories and discussions like this to you. Thanks for watching and being part of our community.